What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Zikola Espresso and welcome to today's video. Now today we're going to be talking about the Invasion DLC here on Call of Duty Ghost, seemingly the most publicized and hyped DLC of the previous map packs. Now surprisingly, I was not invited out to LA to go play the new maps early with my friends, but it's alright Infinity Ward, I'll let this one go. But on a serious note, we got some cool information released to us within the last 24 hours and I'm assuming there will probably be a lot more coming in the next day or so leading up to Tuesday with the release of the DLC. So yesterday we got a ton of information regarding the multiplayer map Pharaoh. Now, to give credit where credit is due, I'm going to be screenshotting some of the videos that were showcasing it and leave the links to the videos down in the description below. But there's a ton of stuff to talk about in this map, some really cool features on here. So let's get started with the first of them. Let's talk about the vases full of scarabs first. Suited for the Egyptian setting, there are a bunch of vases around the map. Now, if you break these, that's when the fun begins. They're killer. So whoever walks over the pile of them will die, friendly or enemy. They look like they could be hard to see, so be careful there. Now, I absolutely love the attributes of these things because it's kind of freaky a way to die like this because you'll see scarabs crawling through your screen as if they were all over you. It's a neat little way to add flair to it, and I'm excited to see this happen to some enemies in the game. But that's that. I'm excited to see what it will bring. But moving on, next up we have the field order for this map. My initial thought was that it was the secret room that was going to be the field order or something relating to the movie The Mummy, but I was wrong. Instead, we have the Blessing of Anubis. It even Sounds awesome, right? Well, this field order is so awesome, it even stays with you for multiple lives, all the way up to four. What it allows you to have is all of the perks at once, and yes, you heard that right, all of the perks in the game. Now, on the bright side, it's not for the duration of the game, only for a total of four lives, so it's nothing major, but if you play it right, you could definitely do some damage. Now, while this is happening, you're probably gonna feel a lot more powerful than you are. Just remember, your health is still the same as the other players. So, I'm interested to see how exactly this will feel while playing with it. It'll be a cool one for sure in my books. Now, moving on, the last thing about the map Pharaoh that I wanna talk to you guys about is the secret room. Now, this is only available when completing the Easter egg on the map, Presumably like Unearthed, where you had to lower the crane, something easy but also tricky for the sake of it being in the middle of a multiplayer match. Once you're in there, you can see the Tomb of the Pharaoh lined with riches of all kinds. So what's cool about this is that it'll drop a random item via care package to you. Now here's the kicker. Once you get it, you gotta hurry out of the room, otherwise you'll get locked in and then set ablaze by booby traps. I'm actually really excited about this one because it's just such a cool little addition and little interactive feature about the map. This is probably what I'm looking forward to the most about the actual map map itself. So that's really all there is about the map elements for Pharaoh. There are also destructible pieces like the obelisk that will fall and then reposition the B flag in domination. But other than that, there really isn't much to talk about the actual map elements. But before we end the video, I want to mention to you guys the golden specialty weapons we will be receiving this Tuesday as well. What's cool about this is that it's not DLC, but rather a patch. So every console, Xbox 360, Xbox One, PS3, PS4, and PC will have the items all at the same time. But what they are, are the golden PDW as well as the golden knife. Now the golden knife, this thing is simply unlocked by prestiging five times in Ghost. And what's cool about it is the knifing animation now doesn't lunge and thrust into the enemy in such a dramatic fashion. It's more of a normal side swipe knife that we're used to, almost a comparable time frame from a normal knife to a tactical knife in previous Call of Duties. It's going to help a lot if you enjoy the knifing aspect of the game. Now, as for the golden PDW, this thing is available once you prestige 10 times, so there are now perks for hitting max level in the game. But what's cool about this one is that it's fully automatic. You all know the burst version of this weapon is a total dud and nearly a pea shooter, but now that it's fully auto, it's a little more practical. Not on the level of machine pistols, but a more fair version of them in my opinion. I'm quite excited about this one as well. I may end up actually trying to get a little bit of gameplay for it here, maybe using it as a secondary, since it has become a little more practical. But that is all for today's video, guys. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. What's your favorite part about this new map, Pharaoh? And are you excited for the Invasion DLC just yet? If you did like the video, please leave a like ring down below. Any shares to your Facebook, Twitter, and or MySpace if you're OG like that, always greatly appreciated. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe for the best of Call of Duty content, any new ghosts and advanced warfare, news and information. You guys know exactly where to find it, right here up on my channel. So thank you guys once again so much for watching my name's been Nicola espresso as always if you guys are having a great day i shall see you guys later take care and peace Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs>